Ben Osborne, I'm walking along the show here. I see your car. It is drop dead gorgeous, and the color is amazing, and does real well with the Arizona sun bouncing off it. Tell us about your 1937 Ford. It loves the sun. It's candy brandy wine. It's 37 Ford slantback, and it definitely lights up in the sun. Slantbacks have always been rare. Even back when I was in high school, you couldn't find them. How were you lucky enough to come across one? Well, this is an altered body, and everything on it's been changed. It's uh, actually a fiberglass body, completely redone, chopped, and whole new roof line and everything. Has an LS1 Corvette in it. It goes down the road pretty nice. A good, fun car. It's pretty drastic in the design on it compared to some of the other uh, late 30s and early 40s Fords here. When people go by, do they recognize it for what it is, or do they look at it and go, it looks kind of familiar? But A lot of people have trouble uh, realizing that it is a 37 because it's so uh, top line and everything is so radically changed, but it, it's based off of a 37. Kind of got an airflow thing going with right. the grill here. Smoothed out, yeah. This is all hand-formed aluminum, the uh, grill and side trim. You said it had LS82? LS1 Corvette. Okay. Yeah, it goes down the road pretty good. It's a good, fun car. Is this a car that you saw and had to have, or one that ca oh, came together in your head and, and you uh, you know got out the wrenches and the checkbook? And <laughs> well, it was already built when I saw it, and I had to have it. I had never seen one with lines like this, and I was real impressed with it and had to own it. A lot of people uh, prefer to build their own cars. A lot of people prefer to let the person build the car and let them s spend the money and then uh, step up and, and, you know, you've got the car now. That's the way I do things. Uh, any thoughts on that? I don't have the patience to wait three or four years for it to be built, so I've got to have a turnkey car to play with right away. And usually the second owner is the one that comes out ahead financially. Yes. I am the first owner, so it... Uh, yeah, it's, it's a little expensive. This car show is amazing. There's so many cars here. There's such a variety of cars here. Great crowd. Wherever we go with the Vintage Vehicle Show, the, the people are always pretty much the same. They're always friendly, always having a great time at a car show. This is, this is way up. This is exceptional in that area. Just what a great crowd here. Well, what is it do you think that the, uh, the, the sand and sun of Arizona does to car owners? Well, it's just this great weather. You can come out and use them. And, uh, uh, we have a lot of cruise ins around town and stuff that uh, the weather allows that, so it's, uh, it's a big sport here. Mm -hmm. One of the things that's most interesting about this is the wheels that you have on it. Yeah, those are billet specialty wheels, 18s and 20s. The wheel thing seems to be something that always, you know, uh, I remember when it was a big deal to go from 16-inch wheels on your 48 Chev and put 15-inch wheels on them, and now people are putting 22-inch wheels on some of their cars. Uh, wh where do you think that's going, or is it something that will never change? Oh, I don't think it will ever change. I prefer the bigs and littles uh, as opposed to the 30-inch wheels and stuff that people are doing nowadays. I like a nice rake on them. So. so you have 20s in the back and 18 in the front? Correct. Well, you definitely have one of the finest rides here, so thank you very much, Dwayne, for well, being on the you. Vintage Vehicle Show. Thank you.